Today we're looking at a new node project and it's a deep end project. It's a combination of two of my favorite things. This one is called the Aether Edge and I have one in my hands right now and we'll be taking a look at this in just a moment. I'll be opening up the box and checking it out. One of my favorite things about Deepin is it's a physical device, something that you're physically plugging into the network and you're contributing and earning. So let's go ahead and open up this box. And while I do that, I'll explain more about the project. The Aether Edge is a state-of-the-art GPU powered device designed for AI, gaming, cloud mobile, and token rewards. Leveraging Aether's global network, the Edge allows users to share high performance computing resources and earn rewards in return. With over 40,000 units sold in 60 different countries, the Edge serves as an entry point into the future of Deepin. Built for enterprise Enterprise grade performance, the Ether Edge contributes both computing power and storage to the decentralized cloud network. Its GPU capabilities enable support for high demand applications like gaming, AI, and boosting the network's overall performance and efficiency. AI and gaming have exploded already. This is something that has been accelerating over the last year. Uh, the access to resources like GPUs is becoming more and more scarce, uh, especially in the AI space. Companies like Meta and Google have bought thousands upon thousands of pieces of hardware and storing it in their data center. So it's making it a lot more scarce and accessibility to everyone has been getting tighter and tighter. And this is where Aether actually comes into play. What users are able to do is they're able to come in and just buy the allotted time for what they're trying to get done. They don't have to invest in the hardware. They don't have to invest in the infrastructure and they don't have to have this huge upfront cost. Instead, what they're going to be doing is just paying for the time that they're actually going to use. So this is where the investment for Aether actually matters. I'm just going to pop this up on the screen right over here. And this is their main page. And you can see right now they have over 43,000 GPUs that have already been purchased and that are on the network. And these are enterprise grade GPUs. They're spread out across 23 different countries, and they have an excellent uptime of 99.9%. This investment in GPUs that they already have is worth over $400 million. So it's pretty significant. The other piece of the puzzle is revenue. So if you have a lot of infrastructure and everything's built out, you want to make sure that you're also able to sell it. Aethers actually has use cases to prove it, and they have real clients. And so we have this other screen right over here, which shows some statistics about the network itself. The interesting component right over here is going to be the gaming studio partners, and they have over 200 that are actively involved in using the network. These are customers that are using resources of the network and paying for it. And it's not a little bit of money that's being made right now. Here's a blog post that was on their website just a few months ago. Is published on August 28th, 2024, and it's talking about revenue. So these clients are actually paying and they're paying very well. Let's scroll down a little bit over here, and you can see that Aether recently announced 36 million in annual recurring revenue. So that's a significant amount. That's $36 million of revenue this year. The year's not even over yet. With AI continuing to expand rapidly the way it is right now, you can see that these revenue numbers could easily balloon out from where they are right now. Here is the Ether Edge. It's a very nice product. It's well built. It was very well packaged, I gotta say. And the size of it, for a side-by-side -side comparison, here's my water bottle and here's the Ether Edge. It's about the height of my water bottle and maybe just about the same in thickness. Uh, so it's very small. Uh, it could be comparable to a small form PC, a router. It's very light, just maybe a couple pounds. Let's take a look at the specs of the hardware itself. So the chipset is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865. It's running Android 13. There's 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of disk space. Connectivity methods is going to be Wi-Fi 6. It has Bluetooth 5.2. It also has a one gigabit ethernet port. So if you're going to be using this device and you're able to physically plug this in, I highly suggest to do that. You get a stable connection and your uptime will be a lot more consistent. The encryption chip that's built into it is a CIU98B. The power consumption is going to be a maximum of 48 watts. Uh, most people are seeing about 25 to 30 watts. So the cost to operate this is actually significantly low. It'll just be a few cents a day. Really, that depends on where you live. So you can calculate that a little bit better. Now, the operational requirements to get this up and running, there are requirements for that. So you want to have a stable, high bandwidth connection. You need at least 20 megs up and 20 megs down. You want this to be online and active for at least 20 hours a day. So what's the cost? The cost for this one is going to be $1,299. So basically $1,300. Beyond that, there is an activation cost for this as well. The activation cost is going to be 2,153 ATH, which is their native token. That's going to be about $130.
So those are some costs that you definitely want to be aware of before you pick up one of these devices. One other thing to note is that KYC is required when you're claiming these tokens. So we know how much it costs. How much is it going to earn? So right now for earnings, you're looking at about 100 ATH per day. So ATH is the native token. And if I pull up the current price, let me just see where we're at right now. And here we go. So we're at roughly six cents. That's basically what it opened up at. It opened up earlier this year. I believe it was June at about six cents and it's fluctuated a little bit. It's gone as high as eight and a half cents and it's dropped as low as four and a half cents. So it's not too volatile. It's been staying roughly in the same space. Uh, currently right now it's at six cents. Using that six cents price right now for daily earnings, uh, we're going to be looking at about $6 per day, $180 a month or $2,160 for the year. So the break in time period for this is going to be roughly eight months. That's assuming all conditions stay the same. This is crypto. Nothing stays the same. So it could either be a lot shorter or it could be a lot longer. It really depends on what the market does. One other thing I need to note is that the 100 tokens a day that you're earning right now will last until the summer of next year. And I believe things will change in July or August of 2025. That's when the reward structure will change and there will be a total amount of tokens that will be allocated for all miners. So there will be a reduction in the amount of rewards that you're gonna be earning at that time. Uh, the good thing is, is if you're picking one up right now, you have quite a bit of time to break even before that takes place. So even with that said, we can see that the price could possibly roll back and forth. We don't really know what's going to happen with crypto, but as the bull market's taking place right now in AI and DPIN being very strong narratives, we can see that the price could possibly grow significantly over that period of time as well. There is also something else that's pretty significant to know if you're picking up one of these miners and that's a vesting period. So even though you're earning these tokens, they're locked for a set period of time and they get unlocked in a schedule period. So the vesting schedule is going to look like this. The first 30% of the tokens that you get is going to be claimable immediately. So you can take that to an exchange and you can sell it off. The second 30% will be unlocked after 90 days and the last 40% will be unlocked after 180 days. The vesting period is spread out over the course of 180 days. This does help with stability of the coin. So overall, I do appreciate that. If you're looking at picking one of these up, you can get it from the sponsor of the channel, which is Helium Deploy. Currently right now, they have a drop of 200 units available. When these get released, they get released in small batches over a short period of time. So when they do drop, they do sell out fairly quickly. Uh, but you can see right over here that they have the price of $1,299. If you use the coupon code CryptoJar50, it'll save you $50 on your purchase. So if you do use the coupon code, thank you very much. What you can expect from me is an update on the Ether Edge in a couple months to show you what my earnings look like. I recently dropped a update on node projects that I was in to help users understand the profitability and the ROI on those investments. I'll be doing something similar for this deep in device as well as many others that I have so you can understand what the profitability looks like for the hardware that we've purchased. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.